Hi, yes, it's road trip time again. I'm in the car, I'm in the underground <laughs> car park, ready to go because I got the word that the Australian uh, Computer Museum Society is, well, they're kind of not shutting down, but they're in trouble. Um, they're here in Sydney, in Villawood. And, well, they've got a warehouse here in Villawood, and they're basically, their lease is running out. They've got a warehouse full of vintage computers, and... They don't know what to do with them, so I'm going there to uh, check out the um, the scale of the problem. So we'll find out. Could be very interesting. It's not a museum. It's I believe it's like a dark and dingy warehouse that they've got all this uh, stuff stored in. Anyway, we'll find out. Let's go. <coughs> this one's about to go out. Yeah. Check it out. <laughs> Trash 80 Model 2 with the 8-inch floppies. Ah, oh, beautiful. All right, take it away. <laughs> what a shame. Oh, bye-bye. <laughs> Sorry about the noise, but we are on a road here. This is the uh, uh, Australian Computer Museum Society warehouse. And uh, <laughs> that, yes, that is a gigantic um, hard drive platter. We're not sure of the... Uh, what it's from or the uh, density or anything like that but uh, anyway this building is about to be uh, it's about to be demolished so it's going to be turned into these uh, <laughs> it's going to be turned into these apartment buildings and uh, there's there's John say hi John greetings how are you today <laughs> great and this stuff is mostly it's probably half gone is it oh no, not quite. Probably about a third, I'd say. About a third gone? Yeah. Yep. All right. Well, we'll have a look around. Still Thanks, lots mate. of heavy stuff inside for oh, anybody all here. Stuff. Got a bit of space. Yep. All right. Thanks. Let's, let's go have a look. And this is dark and gloomy, so I may have to get out the lights. Woo! All right. So what we'll do first is we'll just have a... Uh, a walk around. Um, I am shooting this at uh, 60 frames per second, so no 4K stuff. I figure you'd appreciate the uh, higher frame rate on this one. And th this is just their holding warehouse. It's not really a museum, not designed to be a museum uh, as such. They have moved uh, quite a few times, so all this stuff is, uh, as John said, about a third of it's probably gone already. There's some deck stuff. There you go. And Taylor Simbrot, what on earth is that? Looks pretty recent, so bugger that. Um, and we've got that like newer stuff, like Compaq. What is this? Digital Electronics Proprietary Limited Digital Event Recorder System. Wow, I have no idea what this is. So it's not just vintage uh, computers, it's um, just all sorts of uh, electronic y stuff. Now I have heard that they do have, I'm not sure if it's still here, but uh, an original um, E-Duck 8. Yep, <laughs> they're looking for a new home. Anyway, it's about, this place is about to be demolished. So they are looking for people to uh, uh, mine this stuff until they can find a bigger place. So there's lots of, you know, um, stuff which is probably not of interest <laughs> to anyone. We've got some wire wrapping. Check out that. Just tons of stuff everywhere. What on earth is that maintenance panel from? I've got no idea, but uh, anyway, there's a ton of stuff in here. Can't possibly go through it all, so please forgive me. There's just like <laughs> just boards everywhere. Who knows what they're from? They could these could be like incredibly rare boards or something. You just have no idea. Let's have a look. I, you know, I have no idea what it's from. Not a clue. Zenith. Zenith Data Systems Monitor. This looks like our monitor section. So, let's wander down here. Oh, no. Wow. It's just like, like old PC stuff. Like, I don't know why, you know, it, it requires a specific type of person to uh, collect, like, old PC, you know, compatible stuff and things like that so you know it, that's really i don't know anyone who actually does that but there's tons of monitors up there so let's go deeper like and there's like lots up the top there as well 
just no shortage of them. So, Epson monitor. <laughs> Classic. Oh, there we go. Look, we've got uh, some hard drive uh, platters and stuff like that. No idea what that is. See? Who knows? That could be uh, something really interesting. I mean, you know, there's a month of Sundays in uh, teardowns here. It's just crazy. Look at that. I mean, that's one hell of a typewriter. Is it even a typewriter? It looks something more serious than that. It's incredible. What? A, is that a counter? Is that a counter? Wow. I've got no idea what that is. As a uh, digital vax console for those vax fanboys. Uh, <laughs> old HP Color laser jet and more PC stuff. Not really interested in PC stuff. Oh, look at that. Look at those IBM terminals. Oh, beautiful. IBM 3278 terminals. Brilliant. Uh, is that more digital stuff? Got no idea. Something with a motor on it. And wow, look at like all the documentation and stuff. PDP 11. PDP 11 engineering drawings. Wow, like, wow, you're gonna be kidding me. <laughs> oh, oh, jackpot. Management Information Systems Proprietary Limited, Digital Equipment Corporation. Wow, oh, <laughs> schematics. There we go, <clears throat> PDP 11 schematics. <laughs> like, just sitting up there. Wow, that's nuts. No idea what they are. The back of uh, something big and old. Oh, what's that? IF frequency, DPM, what is that? Some sort of baseband receiver, filter or something? Not sure. But, uh, oh, yeah, look at all the, look at all the tapes up there. They probably contain, you know, various uh, programs. Whatever. RPO six. RPO six. What's a digital RPO six? Disk drive three hundred megabytes. Right. Bury it down in the guts. Three hundred meg digital hard drive. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, they tape? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You're right. Please, I think they could be. Bit, yep. There we go. There's the platters for those. Digital platter. Let's open her up. Oh, there we go. Yep. Beautiful. Probably still readable today. If you had the computer. If you had the, the <laughs> if you had the working thing to do it, yeah. What's a Technico SS16? RAM reset power. I've got no idea. Wow. <laughs> what Honeywell? Honeywell terminals are they? Incredible. And just a random box of uh, modern newfangled rubbish. What's it you know, what's this garbage doing here? Like, you know, do, do, why? That's something I'd find in the dumpster. Uh, two of those a week in the dumpster. I think you're going to hear me say this a lot. I have no idea. Andromeda Systems Inc. Um, yeah. Bueller. Bueller. Disboot. Line clock. Naval Holt. I just, like, right, protect, busy, ready. Oh my goodness. Like, it's just, it's just incredible. And this stuff is absolutely amazing. Check this out. This is an Intel. You might think it's an EEPROM programmer. It's a Prompt 48. But it's not an EEPROM programmer. It's actually an Intel development system. And it actually comes with all this stuff. Look, that's an Intel monitor with an 8-inch <laughs> inch floppy on it. And whatever that is, some sort of processing unit or something down the bottom. Got no idea, but these are old Intel development units. Wow, like I like probably for like 8080 systems or something like that. And this is how you would have like developed programs for Intel stuff back in the day. So you know, for the early Intel processors. There's the back of the Andromeda systems ink. I, I got no idea. Lots of D connectors. This is amazing. What's in here? Secret squirrel. Oh, secret squirrel cave in here. 
not much interesting. Just, uh, oh, Telleray 3300, of course. Everyone knows the Telleray 3300. <laughs> and just monitors, 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 more monitors. What do we got out here? More stuff. No. <laughs> Overhead projector. <laughs> you can get 50 bucks for that in the trading post. Oh, there's a documents room. All right, I won't miss the documents room. And ton of old floppies. Old printers. Tektronics. Tektronics what? It's a Tektronics. <laughs> 4612 I get obviously <laughs> it's, oh, it's a printer it's a printer some sort of thermal printery thing uh oh um yeah I don't know what's happened there but uh that's not a happy ending um sorry for all you whatever it is that that is fanboys um it's, it's <laughs> I think there's been a pigeon problem in here okay <gasps> Been told to take a deep breath before going in here. <gasps> I can't talk much. It's the documents room. Um, uh, look at all these digital um, racks. Wow. Oh, yeah, not kidding. Oh, uh, try and breathe in here. Wow. Yep. This is just a mountain of boxes. This is just nuts. This is absolutely nuts. Wow. How would you ever find anything? Concurrent Computer Corporation. Anyone know that? System A Micro 5. Yeah. Tandem. We do know Tandem. There's a digital VAX 6000. Just tucked away at the back there. And uh, more Concurrent Systems Inc. Wow. Like, how are they going to find someone to, like, store that? Because this place is closing down in a, uh, in a week. And it's going to be demolished. I'm going to find someone to mind all this stuff, but that's just incredible. Wow. 11 cents a kilo for scrap metal, we think. 11 cents a kilo and into data. What is it like? Cassette based? I've never seen a cassette based on a... Wow, what on earth? Hang on, there's nothing in the back of it. It's just got some boards on the back. Wow, look at that. There's the... Presumably, they're the power supplies at the back, I'd be guessing. And... Uh, then the CPU unit and stuff like that. Oh, no, no, it's not going to open. And the power supply to go with it, presumably. Wow. I just, like, <laughs> let's look at a random document. RT, RSTS, Macro and System Programming, Volume 6. Looks like they got the complete set. Fantastic. This is just insane. More digital stuff. We've got the world's smallest storage device. <laughs> oh yes, we have the punch. Uh, An 80 byte storage pu device. Punch card, 80 byte storage device. Brilliant. This looks like a do-it-yourself plotter. There it is. Pen up, pen down. Um, it looks like it's. Uh, maybe it's not a do-it-yourself. I don't know, but. Uh, wow, that's just absolutely yeah. Yeah, that's got... No, no, it's like someone's just made a case for it, I think. It's a mill... My plot. It's a my plot. Anyone use a my plot back in the day? There you go. Like, what on earth is that thing? Um, it, it, look, it's got some... <laughs> I have no idea. Some sort of, like, custom job. I, like, no clue. Anyone? I dug one layer down, and yep, I found a Commodore VIC-20. Look at that. So I'll, I'll take that for a tear down. Probably doesn't work. This keyboard is buried under this keyboard, which weighs an absolute ton. And uh, probably wires, because it's all like die-cast bottom on the thing. Unbelievable. Just a, like bamboozled by the stuff I'm pulling out of here. This is Texas Instruments. Um, alarm, one lung, tune, report, groups, display. Um, and F through the F40 function keys, what? Set point, manual cassette, auto, like, I don't know, did TI make a, a security system at one point? I got no idea. Ah, oh, this is nuts. Oh, 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 look at that. Look at that patch board. Analog computer. It's an EAI 680 analog computer. Oh my goodness, I can't even get to it. Sorry. Can't even. 
<laughs> Can't even get to it. I'd have to move like a dozen boxes to get in there. But, wow. Look at the patch panel for that thing. Analog computer, amazing. I saw, I saw one of these in the uh, powerhouse museum. But, uh, yeah, that's uh, just incredible. BHP Central Research Labs in Melbourne. There you go. BHP Newcastle. Let's open up a random box. This was uh, on by, underneath the VIC-20. Attach programming. Attach? It's not attach, eh? It's attach. Able Computer Inc. Anyone? Bueller? User Guide. Uh, hey, what? I don't know. I don't get it. Tech Tips. Able Computer Tech Tips. 1985. Wow. What else have we got? PDP-11. PDP-11 keyboard stuff. Australian standard for transparent overlays. Okay. This is it more <laughs> PDP-11 stuff. This is incredible. Um, I like I've just dug through the first layer. Then there's a mystery box. Ugh. What is here we go. Mystery item. A DLP 3800 data systems. What? Got no clue. Anyone? And occasionally you find a bit of test gear. A, a Cistron Donna counter timer. Look at that. Neat. I might add that. Do a little uh, retro teardown. Second channel stuff probably. We think right up in there is a old mechanical calculator. It looks like it's got the crank handle and uh, everything. He's, he's, he's going in. <laughs> he's going in. <laughs> this is not going to end well. This is not going to end well. Back to back modem simulator. Synchronous and asynchronous for those playing along at home. Made in Canada. Hi to all my Canadian viewers. Sometimes you've got to dig through the stuff to find. There you go. An Amiga 2000. I'm going to crawl in there. Get it out. <laughs> I've removed a box to get to it. In I go. Like I bought one. Let's try out a mystery box. Let's have a look. What's inside here? What? Hey, that looks like some sort of cereal. To, um, maybe a protocol analyzer or something. Serial analyzer. Ampex DDX 900 tester. Is that like a line tester? Cylinder address. Head alignment. No, it's a hard drive. Hard drive alignment tester. Wow, look at that. <laughs> like, is that of use to anyone at all? Bueller. Four megabytes of ECC memory for 350 bucks. Anyone? A uh, surface mount. None of that uh, old-fashioned through-hole rubbish. Let's have a look. Oh, it's just a thing of beauty. It's a joy forever. Wow. Look at that. That's custom gate arrays. Beautiful. There you go. It's a VAX BI bus. So some sort of uh, VAX system. Was it a standard bus? Anyway, it's a four meg card. Look at that. Double sided. No, that's single sided rubbish. This is the high capacity job in the original case. Look at that. It's oh, magic. And there's a few of them. Check it out. Wow, how much memory would you have in your VAX system? Incredible. Check out this NCR. Look at Ooh, this. What's that? It's like a calculator. Look, but look at the huge, um, big, like, oh, gigantic ledger system, right? You think? Something like that. I just yeah, look how wide. Yeah, it's printing on like a well, see like that thing in there. A one paper. K Pro what, what have we portable. Oh, the K Pro Osborne. portable. Yeah. Oh yeah, I wouldn't mind that. I'm gonna start dig it digging. out. Let's start <laughs> digging. Oh yeah, great. Okay, thanks. Check out this board from a um, yeah, some sort of digital, you know, like a PDP type system. I don't know. I don't know the P PDP bus uh, offhand, but look, all discrete. Uh, you know, 7400 series uh, stuff by the looks of it. Return authorization in 91. 
Were they still using this in 91? Incredible. Check this out, stored program buffer. <laughs> really, how are you doing uh, construction? Dwight Instrument Company, Lindhurst, New Jersey. Anyone remember the uh, Dwight Instrument Company? <laughs> what happened to them? And it's like, it's got a little like four digit lead display, presumably, and a just a, a couple of uh, thumb wheel switches and you just, you just store some programs on there for what i don't know some sort of controller or something else some sort of custom in yeah. industrial thing check out this thing tucked away it's a geostar it's some sort of uh mapping system um electronic system division geoscience geosource so nice green screens there's two of them so some sort of like geophysical monitor and based on the mount there, you know, it was probably like a, on a, like, kind of reminds me of something that would be on, used on an old seismic survey vessel, geophysical vessel, or uh, something like that. It may not be a boat version, maybe a ground-based um, uh, geophysical thing, but I, I don't know. Is it some sort of power line local, sorry, uh, debate start station one. Hmm, anyone? Right up the top there, I found something for you Amiga fanboys. Let's go. Oh. This is just nuts. There's all, the t there's all the tapes. It's incredible. There's terahertz. <laughs> and anyway, check it out. Amiga hardware reference manual. Third edition, thank you very much. Now that first edition rubbish. Uh, C128, Commodore Service Manual. Amiga User Interface Style Guide. Fantastic. Amiga ROM Kernel Reference Manual. Devices. It's got the individual devices. So I don't know. It's got like floppies and source codes and the includes and auto docs for the ROM kernel. Fantastic. Like, geez, look at that, how thick that is. That's incredible. And the ROM kernel reference manual for the libraries. Wow. Like, that's just crazy. Sorry you can't read that, but you know, just tucked away up the top, right at the back. There you go. Complete set. Check it out. There's just tons of these tapes and like um, <laughs> computer security tape, 3M. I mean, they look like they were. Uh, you know, pulled out of the machine yesterday, and uh, 1988 they were still using these things. Incredible. Clearly John Hellborn's the man if you want to uh, troubleshoot and repair your Commodore 128. There it is. Ah, oh, look at the pinouts for all the chips. Ah, oh, fantastic stuff. Who wants it? Oh, you remember the white pages on CD? <laughs> I do. That was a thing. And just like floppies there's just boxes and boxes and boxes of floppies and everything else it's just incredible i don't know what this thing here is by the way punch some process ram uh ramac so it's some sort of uh punch storage computer i don't know oh it's an ibm okay there you go wow ancient absolutely ancient and just, uh, you know, manuals like that, right? Somebody wrote all these manuals. How to use the 8001 CRT and maintenance manual for something. I don't, like, it's just incredible. <laughs> Wordstar. Yeah, everyone remembers Wordstar. Multiplan. Fantastic. Yes, I have opened that. It's just a bunch of uh, parts. You just, like, the amount of stuff in here is just crazy, right? Some someone you know wrote <laughs> lots of people you know wrote these manuals wrote these software wrote everything and it's just uh, you know it had a stay they probably spent you know years doing this and all these books that have been written and are absolutely like you know <laughs> the Lotus Guide to one two three release three point one that was huge in its day 
and it's just yeah the mini computer in the laboratory wow yep it's in case you care about the mini computer in the laboratory but hey that would have been a great text in its day i'm sure but yeah i'm just like wow <laughs> it's just the, the 8086 random one the apricot technical info i remember the apricot i used to use an apricot anyone else the networker <laughs> oh wow everything's in individual uh, outline technical specification dual processors ah incredible yeah i think the libraries used to have the uh the apricots back in the day hang on look at what we have here tektronics 465 service manual wow 465 scope i wouldn't have expected to find a tektronics 465 service manual here unbelievable what else is in that box wow a tektronics 4010 series anyone use one of those intelligence graphic enhancement options instruction manual wow timing diagrams and everything oh, winner winner chicken dinner the dm44 digital multimeter service manual <laughs> flexible disk memory storage unit and the 485 scope probably a ton more stuff in here and for all you modem fanboys we have the nice modem 2 <laughs> a uh, dataplex the send data 300 i got one of those in the mailbag didn't i um some sort of homemade job i don't know what that box is data craft so there you go i hope you enjoyed that little impromptu tour around the australian uh, computer museums uh society's warehouse before it gets torn down yes it is going to get torn down next week unless so unless they can find someone who can like temporarily uh mine and store all this stuff until they can potentially get a new uh warehouse then let us know contact me and i'll put you in touch so it's absolutely fascinating i'm going to go around and take a look good look around now without the camera and uh see what i can find possibly for some uh teardowns and stuff like that but unfortunately i heard about this a bit late and i think a lot of the good vintage stuff has actually gone so but there might be some more interesting uh obscure stuff left over we'll find out anyway hope you liked it if you did give it a thumbs up catch you next time Hello.